Okay, hello everybody. Here we go. This is another movie that we're going to do on the capacitive touch sensing. We got our board scribed and everything. Here's our here's our pads. If I can take and get a pencil in here, there's the different pads for the different switches. Here's our microcontroller. There's some of the uh, different uh, pins that I brought out to pads as you can see and what I did was then I just soldered some wires to them so I could plug them into the breadboard. Two are for LEDs so there's the one LED here and the other one here. We've got uh, these two resistors for the LEDs, your 4, 470 ohms. You've got your voltage regulator here. Again there's your two capacitors that you have. One here and one here for input and output so you can for noise suppression. This long string wire of a thing, what that's for is that's for the ICD or the, the in-circuit serial programming. It's connected in to the pins that I've brought out for the uh, mem clear and the other features. That then goes to, if I show you the other end of it, goes to basically the other end, basically a phone cable essentially. And then that can plug into our ICD. And so that plugs in right here you can see that in that port right there. And then that way you can then program it and debug it and do all that kind of fun stuff with it. Um, right now we're just going to show you how it works. So like I said, per that one drawing, we just have the two LEDs on it. Here's our here's our uh, 10K ohm resistor for men clear, pulling that up. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and show it to you. Um, program these little buttons uh, with the program that I showed you in the others. Basically you just touch this one comes on, touch this one, that one comes on, touch this one, they both come on, touch this one, it blinks. And as you can see it's just that. The other thing that's cool about this is that let's say we have a piece of paper. Take a piece of paper here, you can place it over the top of your pads and still it should, it'll recognize, see, it still recognizes your finger. Let me back off so you can see it. It still recognizes your finger even through the paper. Uh, it's pretty pretty cool. You can even get uh, thicker things like, oh, let's see, I've got some photo paper here that I've even kind of doubled over. If you can see it, I've doubled this over. Um, still, it still senses your fingers even through, even through that. So that's pretty cool. Um, we've got that in there. So yeah, so you can even, even sense this through through stuff. So that makes you even say that even if you have like a professional grade board made, you can have the uh, the solder mask just laid right over this. You don't have to have um, you don't have to have anything cut out of the solder mask or anything. You can just have this completely covered up by that and it'll still sense your fingers. Now one one thing that I want to caution you on is it does sense it from behind. So if your application see me touch them from behind. If your application uh, gives way to where you can have access to behind the circuit board, know that the circuit board will not shield it. Uh, that you can touch the back of the circuit board and the sensors will pick you up as well as the front of the circuit board. So, well, anyway, that's the demo that we had. So, thank you for watching and please post and comment.